So what are you making today, babe? Uh, some roast carrots or some seasonings. And I'll show you what they are after I cut these out. Wiping the cheese. Yeah, you just sweating on everything. The whole floor over here. I can't <laughs> step out in here. Hey, we didn't have to move the exhaust. We didn't have to jack up. We didn't have to do anything. Look at that. I didn't, um, we just washed them. They were pretty good. We didn't peel them. Uh, if you want, like to peel them, go ahead. But um, when they look like that, no need for peeling. I'm just gonna get off the end because I don't really like that. But what I do is I have to kind of get these evenly. And as you get into the thicker part, you start getting a little, little bit shorter. So they'll cook evenly. We're doing, I think about seven, um, but this size. Um, I like to keep them a little bit thicker. Like I, like, I don't like to buy the ones when I go to the grocery store. I don't, do not ever buy the carrots that are, like, thin. Because you really can't do anything with them. Gotta have a girthy carrot. That has some chunk to it, man. I mean, this one's a skinny one, so it's only, it's gonna be like that. That one will mix up just nice and fine. My dog will love these. And I'm getting the last one. Well, that one's a little thicker. So this one's probably gonna be a lot more cut, more like, let's see, probably like that. I'm gonna cut that weird end off there, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting smaller and smaller because it gets thicker. And we want these to all cook at the same time. There. <clears throat> and that is what seven carrots does. Let me see. Do we need more, babe? Okay. Yeah. I don't know, do we need more? I kind of feel like it's tiny. <laughs> I wanted an eighth carrot. Not enough carrots. And that's why I say in my recipe, I say six to eight, depending on what you, how many people are coming to dinner. <laughs> but this one's so thick, I'm gonna be cutting it like this. Get that last one off, but I think this one needs to be cut now. It's too big. Yeah, that's better. That's what we wanted to see. Why am I whole pan full of them? Because they'll get eaten. I'm piling them up because I'm going to put my ingredients on them. And then we're going to mix them. Magically, the cutting board is gone. And now we're going to put in the ingredients. Y'all know me. If you've been following me, garlic. I prefer fresh garlic. I mean, I, you can do it with uh, 
garlic powder. And what you would do, I do one tablespoon, which is one clove, and uh, with garlic powder, you would do one teaspoon to my one tablespoon. I try to write that in my recipe, but sometimes I forget, but that is the equation. So you would have three teaspoons of garlic powder. I know that sounds like a lot, but... And now I'm gonna put in just one tablespoon of sesame oil. You don't have to put this in, it'll still be just as good as the way it is. I just think this adds a little bit of something special. But it really doesn't need it. Don't want that oil all over the, the countertop. Cause my husband goes crazy. I just washed that. No, I don't. And then I'm gonna do, let's see, I'm gonna do about three tablespoons of olive oil. So I got one tablespoon of sesame and three tablespoons of this. You can say, is that the one that just keeps twisting? Or any soy sauce. And I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do three. Cause it does have a lot of salt in it. Hence I'm not putting in salt. Too much salt on that, so I don't do salt. And the seasonings are gonna be ginger. And ginger, it, basically when this cooks up, roasts up, it kind of reminds me of like an Asian inspired meal. You know, with the ginger and the soy sauce and stuff. Like maybe you're eating sushi or whatever. Sushi carrots. I do have another one, but I'm gonna try to use all of this. And the ginger just gives it that extra spice. It's like a sweet, little sweet, little uh, Chinese food tasting. I don't know. And then I'm gonna do about one teaspoon of ground pepper. Okay. Now I'm gonna clean up and I'll be right back. <laughs> Now we're going to mix it up with my hands. And then I'm going to kind of like spread them around. Try to get them, like the coins like that, try to get them flat. The ones that are longer, just leave them like that because they'll cook evenly, more evenly. And a few over here, that one's too long. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> yep, no, that one's good like that. But yeah, just kinda separate them a little bit because you want them to evenly roast. So, I don't normally flip these. I mean, if you desire to flip them, I would do it halfway through the cooking time. Because I do these for about um, 30 to 35 minutes. If I do flip them, if I do flip them, if I do fluff them, if I do flip them, um, I will definitely say that I did wind up flip flipping them. But at this point, I think I'm gonna keep it like this. All right. It's the soy sauce and the ginger. Oh. Okay, so I, I got it all laid out and I'm gonna let them sit here for for like 15 minutes and then we're gonna pop them in the oven. We'll be back. It's marinated for about like 15 minutes. 
And now we're gonna put it in there. Got a little bit more juice down there. But I don't want them to be, you know, burnt or anything. I want them to be um, roasted and soft and kind of crispy on the outside. So we're gonna put this in. Mm. Smells like soy sauce and ginger and garlic and yummo. Okay. And we're gonna do 375 and I'm gonna do 30 minutes. And then we'll be back. Carrots are about to be done. They're done. <laughs> now we're going to get some of my raggedy. Oh, I don't like that one. I know I'm weird. That one looks mm. like it can marry up to each other. And that one and uh... <laughs> <laughs> That one. I know. The blue one's the best one. Send me. Yeah, send me some. Guys, it smells so good. Oh, roasty there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, roasty. Yep, some are roastier and then more than the others, but they're definitely gonna be yummy. Um, so, this is, uh, what is this, soy sauce? Okay, this is my soy sauce um, carrots. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, follow me on our uh, Chris says what or .com or dinywithdanielle.com. Uh, that's where all my recipes go and everything else we do. Um, I don't know why I say um. I guess I'm just trying to... Okay, I'm done. Yeah. Subscribe.